What is it you like to talk about? My patient. Hi. I know you're nervous. I just want to have a chat. I'm seeing something no one else can see except for me. It's smiling at me. Oh my God. <laughs> Yesterday, a patient in your care died brutally in front of you. I need to find an explanation for what happened. It's smiling at me. It's smiling at me. What's her name? You're going to die! You're going to die! You're going to die! You're going to die! I found 20 cases involving 19 victims with a direct line linking them all together. You said only 19. Why is it that everybody else who's seen it is dead and you're alive? I've seen it too. <laughs> Get her away from me! <laughs> How long between each victim's death? None of them survived longer than a week. Rose! Today's my fourth day. I am not gonna keep running. I have to face it. How does it make you feel? I'm just really scared that something bad is going to happen. I love that jump scare. I waited for that. Ooh, that was. Ooh. <laughs> Ay, yeah. Damn, just that like... was creepy. Oh, yeah. Just that head twist at the end. Yeah, that, that definitely stuck out of anything. Welcome back to 2bscene.com. I'm Captain Joe Dove from. This show, you know me as founder, whatever you want to call me, but I'm also the co-host of the Captain's Quadrant uh, on Spectrum Sanctorum. And with me, as always, is the man I've known since 2000. That's right, 22 years of friendship. Billy! I feel old now. <laughs> well, you've got the I eyebrows need, for it. Uh, definitely. I need to just make other people feel old. Every kid in the Harry Potter movies is 30 now. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm sorry. I just had to say. <laughs> so this is our trailer reaction, and I, I'm just freaked out by that one. I'm, like, scratching because it makes my skin oh, yeah. crawl. Uh, that was Kevin Bacon's daughter starring in oh, that movie. Oh, God. So would she be uh, Kevin Bacon bite? Uh, so or Karen Bacon bite? I noticed that this is probably one of the shortest games of six degrees of separation he's ever had to do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's right. That's right. I mean, I... pretty much. Oh, what's the connection? Oh, my dad. She's his spawn. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, I tell you, the um, the movie looks creepy. It's her. Is this her debut film? Are you, do you know? I don't know if it's her first, but it definitely does look good. I kind of think of it like a cross between like like the ring and a little bit of like maybe some of the creepier 90s horror films like I remembered uh, her dad was in Stir, Stir of Echoes. Echoes yeah so I was thinking it's like this little reminds me of like you know if oh you watched the tape you got a couple of days to live and now this yeah one, that was definitely the ring, like I could see like yeah. the Naomi Watts type thing for that and, right yeah um, but I, I mean love, it looks cool and the actors that played the people with the smiles, they were creepy as all hell. I oh, yeah. That was, You're going to die. You're going to die. I was like, oh, God, dude, take your pills. I also just loved, like, the first victim when uh, the girl just, like, smiled and then grabbed, like, the knife and just cut her herself own. an ear-to-ear -ear smile. Yeah, she did a uh, Joker. That's for sure. And there's a lot yeah. of, like, Joker so imagery. Those scars? <laughs> you want to see how I got these scars? 
My so dad was probably didn't want to see how that got. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, looks creepy. Looks interesting. I'm definitely. I definitely want to go see it. I'd probably see it in theaters because, like I said, it just there's no better feeling than oh a good horror film with friends with friends or just people in the theater. So you see the popcorn flakes going. Definitely yes, worth it because this one and it is going to be in theaters in September. Yeah, yeah, I'm there for it. I and mean, that's the perfect time to release horror movies. You got the season of the witch coming, so definitely, yeah. definitely want to see this. This looks cool, man. I'm glad you brought this one to my attention. I had no idea about it. Now I know I saw I, really cool to watch. We'll go see it. We'll go. I actually saw the trailer for this when I saw Thor. So like, I was like, oh wow, I need to bring this to our attention. We need to do a trailer chat, a trailer feed for this. Yeah, because no, this, this actually kind of got to me like even more than like the Jordan Peele one. I'm sorry. I that one looks good too, but that one I've been seeing that trailer for like almost a half a year now. Yeah, it's like all this right. one I just saw it now and I'm like this looks good and it's not a year away. <laughs> no. No, it's actually only a couple of months. Well I mean the Jordan Peele one's coming out next month, right? Or the end of this month. Yeah, but I also know we can't do a trailer chat for that because they've been showing commercials since. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like last thinking. year, since yeah, since Jen, since Christmas, right around Christmas. Yeah, because it was coming. I believe, mean, like I saw the trailer when I saw. Uh, Spider Man. Oh yeah, yeah. So that's I was true. like, wow! I saw that trailer for no. Well, I saw No Way Home, and yeah, now No Way Home's been on video for like almost six months yeah as long as this trailer has been out uh i don't know man is this going to be one of those things that it's an unstoppable entity is this going to be a continuous trope or is this going to be like i i don't know this this one i think it's going to be a hidden gem i think this one might be like either so bad that it's good (laughs) or so so good that it creeps you out Mm, mm. so it's Right now, it looks good. Like, it could be one of those movies like uh, Sinister, but I'm hoping they don't Blair Witch us. Oh, God. It turns out it was the medication the whole time. Sorry, guys. Is it magic? Or it was the trees. Oh, no. <laughs> you guys don't care about the bees? You don't care about the bees? It's like, oh, Mark Wahlberg, why is it happening so bad? <laughs> <laughs> and you're normally decent like come on oh man i hope it's not like either of those yeah I don't, don't let it be like, like old or whatever no it's... don't m night shamal on this yeah this is not an m night Shyamalan, so i think we're in for yeah. a treat here so this could be very good so hopefully they mean they did it competently yeah yeah hopefully the, the screenwriters and the, everybody got together and said no 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 that doesn't make sense don't make it especially because like when your biggest person in the movie is Cal Penn. <laughs> yeah. And he's only in it for a little bit. Yeah. yeah. That's actually interesting. That's like, okay, that's the person you want to be like the anchor for your trailer. Yeah. We're going to make sure that he's the forefront. And then you're not going to see him much in the movie. <laughs> yeah, I mean, that's that's bold. And just the fact that it's using relatively new people. Yeah. Because it seems like almost every movie has the same like six people in it over and over again. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, do you remember the years where like Samuel Jackson was in everything? He was in like the thrillers. He was in the rom coms. He was in, like all the Marvel. Damn it! Now I got that line from Ted stuck in my head. What line? In Ted Two, uh, Amanda Seyfried plays a character named Samantha Jackson. Yeah. <laughs> Samantha L. Jackson. Oh, Sam L. <laughs> Wow. Um, it's like getting him in there without getting him in there. And they had the line where they're like, so your name is Sam L. Jackson? <laughs> yeah, is that supposed to be anything? Uh, yeah, the actor Samuel L. Jackson. Who is that? You ever <laughs> seen a movie? That, you ever seen a movie with a black guy? He's the guy. <laughs> <laughs> it's, that, it was, that was a long time. For a long time yeah. He was in everything. And then he showed up in Marvel movies, and I guess they kind of like honed him in. It's like, all right, dude, you can't be in everything. It has to be magical when you show up on the screen. And also, we have to work around the cursing. Yeah, yeah. 
I am not going to be in this mother effing movie. <laughs> all right, dude. I am all for this. Thanks for sharing that with me. This looks creepy. I'm there. I want to see the, the jump scares look good. The script looks decent. I think the acting is going to be the thing to make or break this film. So hopefully it's not M. Night yeah, Shyamalan. I mean, I like that they took a risk with unknown people. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, well, it's Kevin Bacon's daughter. So it's not like unheard yes. of. Because, you know, if you watch Stranger Things and, uh, you know, make sure you click the card that's going to appear to check out the Stranger Things video that we did. Uh, Butter for Barb. Uh, <laughs> you beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> But uh, you know they're using Uma Thurman's uh, yeah daughter in Maya, that. So Maya Hawk, Ethan yeah, Hawke's daughter. Ethan Hawke, yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, you know we have the next generation of actors uh, coming up. So you know they're, we're kind of like clone recycling actors. Yeah, now. kind of. Yeah, it's the second generation. Well, I'll see it. We'll see it. It looks creepy. I'm uh, there. Who knows? Maybe if it turns out to be like a phenomenon or something, why end up doing a review? Yeah, yeah, maybe we'll be on Spectrum doing that. So make sure you like, share, subscribe, and be sure smile. to smile. <laughs>